Oh yes, it is new humidor day and I want to show you what I got from Need One. Every time I get a new humidor, uh, I'm pretty excited because humidors, I am associate them with cigars. And the more humidors I have, the more cigars I have. I don't have any in this one. I just got it yesterday, but I promised I would get this out uh, fairly quick. So what I'm gonna do today and what you're gonna learn in this video is the good, the bad, and the ugly from the Need One 48L. Hey guys, I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. And we also have the best place to find and buy cigars over at CigarScoreLounge.com. It's a business that my wife and I started a few months ago. Uh, we were in the process of having a great lounge. Uh, while we are doing that, we are here in our offices. So we've got like shipping boxes over here and our lounge stickers and all that other stuff. So we are in a working uh, office, if you will. We are in a working uh, retail spot from where we we send our cigars and our subscription club boxes all over the country. So uh, this is a this is a, I'm, I'm evaluating this humidor. We're going to take a look at it real quick. Uh, we're going to go through all the details, but there's uh, just a little bit of a teaser. We're going to go through all of this from from kind of two perspectives. One, a very practical approach for someone who uh, has a lot of cigars, not enough, but a decent amount of cigars, and also as someone who is, is managing uh, inventory. So right now, very much like your own home, uh, we, we're in a room. There is a offices over here behind me. Right over here, we do have a window unit that's keeping this room at about 68 to 69 degrees, which might be cooler than your house. But the point I'm bringing up is this humidor, right? Again, this is the need one. We're gonna go inside of it here in just a second. But this one has, right now, it says it's 66 degrees in there. Can you see that? Boom. I don't know if that's uh, mirrored to you or not, but that says 66 degrees. Now it says 65 degrees, uh, but you can change this. We're going to go through all of this. I'm going to tell you what I like, what I don't like, what's good, what's bad. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, if you don't mind the gorilla style, let's take a closer look. All right, right now, you can tell, right now, this is like a mirror. So if I turn the light off here, can you, how well can you see uh, into that humidor? You can see a little bit, but it's got a nice mirrored finish at this angle you can see. <laughs> it looks messy, but I promise you that's just packing stuff. But you can see it's very, very mirrored. Turn the light on. Got a nice beep and you can see just a little bit. So uh, what I do like on this console right here in front of you is the ability to change the temperature. It does heat and it does cool. You see vents here all along the side. They're kind of transparent here. You can see my hand back there. So it's got nice venting down here at the bottom. It's got a, a drip pan. Uh, you can't really attach it, but if there is any excess water uh, it will just drip out here. I assume that's what it is. And then there are two fans. Let me see if I can rotate this so you can give you an idea. So right here on the back, you can pop this off just like, like this. And they suggest you clean it, but there are two probably 120 millimeter fans uh, to help circulate all of the air inside. Now the humidor itself is not this deep. It probably stops about uh, right here and the rest of it is the heating and cooling elements of the cigar as you can see I'm able to move this with one hand now. It is empty, but it slides really easily And again, you can change the temperature right here. So I'm gonna leave this on 70 now. Let's go ahead and turn the light on There you go. The light is on and uh, Let's check this out. we got some nice thick glass here the handles and a really good seal. Let's check out these removable shelves here. It does come with a hygrometer. It does come with the batteries. And oddly enough, you can see what I've added to it, 75.3, 77. It's actually 
kind of accurate. I was very surprised by that, but very accurate. So this top drill, one, one thing that is, now we're gonna kind of go along here. I'm just gonna give you my thoughts as we go along. You just noticed I pulled this out. You have to open the door almost, almost the entire way to get these drawers out. So what I, so this, all these drawers, one, two, three, four, all slide out. What I do like is even when it's out here, out all the way here, because of the way they've done their rails, it won't fall on you. So it will fall if you pull it all the way out, but here is the shelf, nice cedar, and you can hear it clicked on. Not sure if my mic picked that up or not, but uh, we do have these fans, let's see. Oh no, that's the Cigar Oasis that kicked on to keep the humidity up. Sorry, not, not the fans. But we have the ability to slide all of these around. And what you will notice here in the back is that there is plenty of a gap here in the back to allow for airflow. Hopefully you can see my hand uh, just a little bit dark in there and the camera doesn't want to focus. So let's zoom back out here. Um, but we do have these four shelves. If I were going to set this up right now, I'm gonna use these uh, these Govi packs. I love these, they're everywhere. I am, I am this is a brand new one, so I am making sure uh, it, it matches the 69% here, and so it's calibrating that as we season the humidor. So what I'm probably gonna do is swap this drawer and put it down here. Can, will it work? It will work. It's a, it's a pretty tight fit, it looks like. Is it gonna work? That's one of the things that is good and bad about this humidor. It's, uh, the shelves are a really tight, tight fit, probably too tight uh, for, for comfort. Let's see if it goes into any of these other ones. Okay, there we go. So it, it fits better in some than others. The reason why I was gonna put this one on the bottom is so it would just kind of be a, a catch all in case something did fall. Yeah, so easily it doesn't doesn't quite go all the way. So good and bad. Great, great that they don't fall out on you, but you can see how this one is pretty snug. You can pull it pretty far out, and they do have a slight lip there on the end of these to keep them from going back too far. So we'll push that back in right there, but you can see it's just just a little, a little bit tight. They could take just millimeters off the sides of this and it would fit uh, a little, a little bit better. But anyway, we've got nice knife sh shelves here. Put this one um, up at the top. That one's, that one slides in. Nice, I wonder if they're different sizes. No, it looks like they are about the exact same dimensions. So I'm not sure why some of them fit better than the others. Finally, they send you this little bitty weird, it's, it's for water, but it doesn't, does it go into these? So down here, there's like a little bit of a trough. I'm not sure uh, you can see these, these grooves or anything, but does it go in there? No. No, it doesn't. So let me just unplug this so it's not trying to humidify everything. So it's not like it's going to drain, although there might, no? Anyway, I'm not sure what this is for, but they do send you this container so you can put water in it and use that as your humidification. But instead, what I would suggest that you do is what I have done and grab you one of these Cigar Oasis. Uh, this is the Ultra, the Excel is above that, and then there's there's two more levels, and then the Magna is what I've got. If you watch my humidor tour, I will link to that right up here. But what I'm gonna do is just leave this here in the bottom, which is why I wish they had put another shelf, you know, just, now I know they can't accommodate every sort of humidification device that's out there, but I kind of wish they would allowed one of these shelves to be dropped down a little bit so that there's less uh, wasted space in here. So um, just a couple tweaks, but overall we've got a really nice humidor. The, the seal is great. I guess I do need to move this around because it doesn't quite go in all of the way. Okay, now that I've showed you what, what I liked, what I don't like, some drawers fit. Some doors could be shaved down like literally like a millimeter just so they can go in easier. And you have to add your own humidification system, uh, which adds to the expense of this because I think this is like 
$330 or something. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description below to where you can just grab it on, on Amazon. Uh, but one of the things that I I have looked at and looked at and looked at is how well these humidors hold cigars. Now you might store a lot of singles, maybe you buy in boxes, so let's take a look at both of those things. Let's open up the uh, the humidor. So let, let me actually start with, with some boxes here. So we've got uh, some Caldwell Mad Mofo. That's a pretty thin box, that's not going to be a good example. Let's do these. Let's do an Undercrown tent. Now that's a pretty standard sized box. You can put that right in there. Um, you could also fit, uh, let's see what else. Let's put that in there. Let's see, we got some Roma Craft here. Uh, pretty tall box. This is the uh, Intemperance Brotherly Kindness. We could stick a whole box right in there. Let's check out these uh, Perdomo Lot 23 Maduro's Robusto. We could probably, I mean, you could fit that right in there. Uh, yeah, you can, sure can. And it's not, it's not even a problem. Let's see what else we got. Let's do some more, more shuffling. Let's see. Yep, that'll work too. You can put a uh, box in here, things right there uh, vertically. So you can do that. We got a box of the uh, Cohiba Blues. Almost, almost. Well, we can stick them down. We can stick them right down here with the Cigar Oasis. Now, I did talk about the singles, so let's pull out a drawer of singles right here. And what you can do with these, so on these drawers, they would the singles would just roll off. That's what I would use this drawer right here for. So get that out of the way. And you can just load this thing up. Since this is a really deep tray, I mean, this is, um, you know, if this is about a five, yeah, this is a five inch Robusto. So it's probably a three inch drawer. So you could just load this up. I mean, if you wanted to load up this singles drawer, these are like, what are these six by sixties? Yeah, these are 60 ring gauge. And you could almost uh, put a fourth one right on there. So if you're looking for single storage, this drawer has you plenty covered. I mean, my gosh, you could stick, you could stick just a ton of them in here. So this is a six inch cigar and that's a five inch cigar and you can do six and five. So this is 11 inches deep. I mean, you could just, you could just stack up cigars like nobody's business right in here. So anyway, you got the singles drawer, you got the boxes drawer, you got a light that you can turn on and off and you've got, uh, I just ran the cord for the Cigar Oasis right through here. Let's see if it closes. All good. And you got a temperature control. You got a light. The only thing that is missing is a little bit of, of humidification. And you can fit a bunch of cigars in here. We're, here's where the value, because I've got a regular wooden humidor over there. I've used those for years. And uh, below the camera here, I've got bins in this uh, temperature controlled room. Here's where you, here's who this is going to be for. The person who can't or won't keep their house at 70 degrees, whether heating in the winter or cooling in the summer. We, we set our thermostats upstairs to eco mode and it goes up to 82 downstairs. We keep it comfortable for us at, at 75 and 75 not so great for cigars. So the ability to control your temperature with this in something that's not terribly heavy, that can hold a lot of cigars, that's who I think they're really targeting with this. You wanna hold a lot of cigars, but you wanna keep your cigars at a different temperature than the room, your upstairs, downstairs, basement, the rest of your house. So I have not tested the heating because it's about 100 degrees in Texas right now. If that changes, I will post an update and let you know. But the cooling aspect of this, so you're not having to cool an entire house, an entire room, or an entire office, that's why you're gonna pay a little bit more for these is the heating and cooling element because your cigars are like are like your little children. You've got to keep them at the right temperature, the right humidity. You've got to take care of them. You've got to water them, uh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, again, this is the Need One 48L. It's the model number NO-48B. The B stands for black. I don't know that they come in any other color, to be perfectly honest. But check out the link below. 
uh, you can grab these on Amazon, get these probably within like two days, depending on where you are and if you have Prime or not. But so far, I like it. It's not terribly heavy. The cedar smell is really nice. You can adjust the shelves and put full boxes in there. And even with this thing packed fairly full right now, because there's a gap behind the shelves, you can get nice air circulation in there. I do notice after running it just a little bit, I, I got this yesterday and been running it overnight, I do think that it runs just a little bit cool. So I don't know how long it's red 68 right here, but as you can see, the thermostat is at, uh, set at 70. And according to the uh, the Govi here, it says 68.2 and this is 68. So uh, it does seem to run just a little bit cooler overnight whenever uh, I came in, I think it said uh, it had been there for about 22 hours. Uh, I had it set on 70 and it was 65. Maybe I had it set on 68 and it's 65. Either way, I think it's running a little bit cooler. So just, just to be aware of that, it's always good whether you have something that's like this uh, or, or whatever, just have more than one way to measure it because the likelihood of this gauge being actual I don't know, maybe it's pretty good. The the hygrometer here, um, those are notoriously uh, fairly bad. So I'll put a link to the Govies as well. You can load this thing up with, with Govies and the Cigar Oasis. And for under $500, you've got a, a heating and cooling thermoelectric humidor that will hold hundreds of cigars. Not a bad deal considering you know, we've got some other humidors that we've paid that I, I've paid, you know, two hundred dollars for, and there's no electronics in them at all. And you still need to also add your humidification. You still need to uh, heat and cool. So I don't know. I think this is a pretty good price. It's not for everybody, but again, if you are wanting to hold a lot of cigars in a temperature-controlled environment, check out Need One. Go to Cigar Square dot com slash need one and that'll take you right to their their link on amazon you can check the description below but let me know what you think have you checked out these humidors are you in the the market for a thermoelectric humidor or do you just use a regular wooden one i uh, hope this helps thanks to tom liu over at need one for connecting me with this i kn i know i'm going to use it i absolutely know i'm going to use it i don't always know how I'm gonna use a product that gets sent to us, but I know I'm gonna use this one. Very excited uh, for it. And um, yeah, so thank you, Tom. Thanks to the Need One team. I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars and learn about cigar accessories just like this one. I hope you have an amazing day. And as always, happy smoking.